Oh god. Holy crap, what the heck is that? Genlock Alpha. Immune. Oh god, black wall. Oh, how did I get... How did I die? I mean... Why, why do I... Okay. Oh god, another one. Another genlock. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, my last health potion. How do they do long range attacks? I don't know. Okay, I need to look for cover. Okay. I need to rely on my <laughs> rebirth ability. Holy crap. We're out of health potions. I can't believe that. You kill Darkspawn like you've been doing it your whole life, Inquisitor. He means that as a compliment. You're famous. Even down here. Is it true you killed a dragon? Uh, they are noble beasts. Magnificent creatures. Bringing one down is always bittersweet. I can't even imagine. Tell me about their teeth. I've heard they don't all breathe fire, and their scales have different colors and patterns. Careful, Ren. I believe you're drooling. Okay, yeah, I guess you don't see any dragons down below here. Which makes sense. I've got three gears now. Can I open this? Some of the hand stamped ink letters, blah blah blah. The creator provides tools. Burning wheels lower gates. I break the lines. Forge the broken sigil. Lock the way behind, claws raking the door, scatter all the keys. What trills my steps? It does not matter, there's only forward. Okay. Okay, I don't see any dark spawns. That scar on your nose is new. Yeah. Fell out of bed. You sleep on the ground. <laughs> Surprise me too. They really are close, huh? No. Dark spawns? Oh, re uh. Revenant? Oh boy! Okay, I don't think we can do this. Um, I'm just gonna go... <laughs> go back to camp and then we need to, you know... Um, okay, here we are again. Let's go in there again. There's a revenant in here. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa, okay. Uh oh. How about a jar of bees, huh? Oh my god, Blackwell! Blackwall! Don't use 
so many health potions. You really need that. Holy crap, that Revenant is pretty strong. Blackwall is dead! Whoa! Holy! Okay. Um... Revive. Revive. Oh god! Revive. Oh god! Oh! Holy crap! How many are there? The Revenant is dead, right? I don't see it. Okay, that's everyone. Holy crap, that used up half of my health potions. Is there any reward or something? Oh, yes. Some gold. No, that way is blocked. Oh! Warden Ailsa's diary. I've never had a diary before. The wardens kept me too busy. But now I'm dying and there's no one to talk to. I'm alone with the music in my head growing louder. I always wondered how wardens knew when they heard the calling. I asked Liam once after too many drinks. You'll know, he said, and I did. At first it was just a whisper, a creak in the door hinge I could put off oiling. But soon all I could hear was the music. It was there when I swung my stuff and swiped the sweat sweat from my brow. It lingered in Lion's laughter and stalked my dreams. I can't explain the sound, the song, but I knew. It's a poison that grows in the mind, then consumes the body. I came here to die, in death sacrifice, but I won't go quietly. I cut through the darkspawn horde, expecting to find only more of them the deeper I traveled, but nothing has matched my expectations. Deep roads brought to mind Darkspawn, Dwarven Ruins, Caverns, and Death. But there's an entire underground world here, just today. I came across plants with lyrium streaked veins. I took a bath in a lake that held crisp, fresh water and cautious animals, large and small, that I'd never seen before. I can't be the first one to witness such wonders. I was distracted by the curiosities west yesterday. Was it yesterday? I let my guard down, got comfortable. Easy to do when you know death is in inevitable. But then I stumbled across something horrible. It smelled. I smelled it before I saw it. Bodies. Herlocks, genlocks, creatures I didn't recognize. Hundreds of them mutilated, tortured, and thrown into pits. I ran, didn't see the hole. Can't move my legs. They look like they should hurt, but I can't feel it. The music's too loud, the hunger too strong. I can still crawl. I don't want to die like this. Okay, Ilsa sketch of the deep roads. What is supposed to be there? I don't know. This grey warden had a bad 
So I know the Grey Wardens needed to sacrifice need need to sacrifice themselves to get rid of an archdemon or something. Seems like they hear a song when it is time to sacrifice themselves or something. But there was no archdemon here, right? It was only Darkspawn. All right, let's continue. Um, what did I miss? There's some rash vines. That's all right. Sorry, team. Um, right, we fought the two gen locks here. Spiders. Corrupted spider. Wait, what do you mean by corrupted spider? Corrupted by what exactly? Red lyrium? Holy crap, they're strong! How are they so strong? My goodness, they're strong and big. I hate spiders. Come on, game. Okay, more light here. Oh. Ogre. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness, their arrow stings so badly. Gen locks and ogres, holy crap. Whoa! Okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's turn invisible for now. Holy moly. Oh, God. Cole died. Okay, time for some extra, extra. Holy crap, is that cool? Oh my god! Uh oh. Where's the... Where's the ogre? Oh god, everyone's dead. Oh! My goodness. God, um, everyone's dead. I can't believe it. Holy crap. Oh, God.
the good burning materials, at least. Oh god. Wait, did I not do my Mark of the Rift thing? Why didn't I do it? My goodness. Or maybe I did and it just regenerated that fast because... Oh god, more? Come on everyone. Oh shit. Ah! Oh! Okay, another bee... Bees? Bees, I said. Are we good? Holy moly, what the heck was that? I hope that was all of them because we are so fucked. Oh boy. Oh, there's an ancient gear in the fire. Tricky, tricky. Corpses. No wonder. There's nothing left of them. Can't even tell who they were. I'm sorry, Ren. You joined the Legion knowing you're already dead. You don't fear the killing blow. We rest in the stone and pass our strength back to her. That's our reward. The dark spawn defiled these soldiers. They can't return to the stone. They'd only weaken her. Because they're corrupted or something? There's nothing to be done. There must be some way to lay them to rest with honor. We can burn the remains. No. That's all we can do. Oh boy, we need to go back and get more potions. Descend into the ruins of... Then. Could this be Tighedron? Dark spawn all over it. You can see their torches. We're getting close to something. Aye. The fight of our lives. Hedron Tyke. A coal? Maybe you don't want to stand so close to the edge? Okay, that's where we need to go. Alright. Can we jump over there? Um, um, don't push! Holy crap! Solar, seriously. Hedron Teig, a letter to merchant Levnok, predating the first blight. Levnok, more of the brand ref refused to make the... No, more of the brand refused to make the journey to Hadron Teig. Rumors of the incident has spread and no amount of coin or beatings could persuade them. I asked Miner Vassov to send the Isana shipment with his own crew, but have yet to receive a reply. I inquired if anyone else has heard from their Hadron contacts. Nothing. I worry that it has something to do with those creatures that wear the faces of the dead. Apparently the king himself is leading a troop of warriors to check on the situation. 
Needless to say, the shipment will be late. I just hope it arrives at all. Jodon. Hmm, so throughout the history there were only a limited number of blights. And of course there's a first blight. Makes you wonder what um, what happened to create a blight in the first place. Oh, we can fast travel here. Thank you, game. That That is so nice of you. This is a fast traveling point, right? It is, it is. Okay, let's um, craft some potions. Um, where do I craft my potions? What is this? Pride of Naltor? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's what I collected. Okay. Never mind then. Oh, I can even modify weapons. I have three blood lotus. Now I have none. Nothing here. Alright, let's fast travel back then. Can I actually buy blood lotus or something? Well, of course not, because we are underground and there's only minerals and stuff. Alright. Ruins of Hadron Tyke. Supply cache, okay. I'm already full, though. Anything here? A gear or something? No? Alright, let's use the lift. Oh, okay. I appreciate the advice. Thanks for the warning. There was this Carter boy, Vaughn, who joined the Legion around the same time I did. Fast with daggers. Could poke 50 holes in a hurlock before the blighter knew what happened. Daggers are messy. Vaughn swallowed some spatter. It took him three days to die. A terrible way to go, I can only imagine. A good soldier in the roads once. She fell down a hole. Found her three days later. He loves this story. She spent a whole day telling us all the strange things she saw while lost. A golden longboat floating in the air. Packs of hairless children hunting nugs. A giant skeleton on a throne. Was it true? <laughs> Never found out. She woke up the next day. Couldn't remember any of it. Oh. Almost sounds like when you're in the Fade. But that couldn't possibly be because dwarves do not have a Fade connection. They don't dream. I wonder what's the connection between the stones, the ability to hear stones and the Fade? Maybe there's a connection? More cash. Oh.
Oh, uh, I wonder what this was supposed to be? Probably a big city. Dwarven city. Oh. Oh! Just corpses, we can deal with corpses, I think. Oh, why am I half dead already? Holy! Wow! Why am I the only one getting damaged like that? Ah, a gear. There's a door. There are two doors. Or we could go into the cave. Another gear. Oh. More enemies. I've heard encouraging things about your progress topside. That you're bringing order to the chaos. That's what they tell me. We could use that. Here. Do you have chaos? I thought Osama was like... Completely strict and stuff like that. No chaos. Very traditional. Where are we even going? Does this lead anywhere? Deep stalker hide. I guess it beats fighting the dark spawn. Hold on. Okay, I guess this leads back to the door. Maybe. Oh god, more. I almost lost my leg to a herlock a few years back. Left a nasty scar. How'd you get away? Kicked her with the other leg. <laughs> Seriously, keep your guard up. They'll use your tongue as jewelry. I'll remember that. Okay, this probably leads back to the other room. Maybe. Oh, I can't even enter. Yeah, this looks... like a way, doesn't it? Let's go back and confer. Right, the other way is also crawling with enemies.
I don't think these doors need gears. Oh, yes they do. Huh, but why would I open this door then? I already know that they'll go to the other side. This seems like a bonus room where there's nothing. The gates of Zegromar. Redemption should follow sacrifice, the creator promised me. I end without hope. Every command a lie, each task a trap, divided I am conquered. The sigil breaks me. Whoa, what is that supposed to mean? A lost caravan. Gold. Yes, thanks. These goods are amazingly well preserved. It's gold. It's not like it's food or something. Okay, one more gear for the other door. But it seems like this door is optional. Okay. Let's go deeper into the cave. There's also something here. And where is our camp? Oh my goodness, all the way back there. Oh, hello! The Gen Lock Alpha again. The big shields are so annoying, and their immunity. Blocked. Immune to ice. <laughs> There's a bunch of gears here. Holy crap. Four gears? Well, now I can afford to open the door. Holy crap, there are 22 gears? Did I see that correctly? Twenty-two gears in the ruins of Hadron Tyke. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's open this door, just for fun. Terrible to sacrifice one's own child with a lie. I prayed on perfectly th trusting faith, but how could I explain my desperation? The deep roads wind in deceitful spirals, concealing the sigil from casual observance. I could not discern its true pattern until I stood in the fade and gazed down upon the vast malevolent engraving. Its artist remains unknown, but its horrifying intent was all too clear, as was my necessity. I only wish it had not cost you, my only child. I could not build the locked barriers that would carve the marks and break the sigil. You alone could save us all, but only by destroying yourself, and I let you do it, forgive me. Okay, this talks about the Fade. This person stood in the Fade, so it can't be a dwarf then, right? Sacrificing my own, one's own child? Their child? 
Maybe for blood sacrifice or something? Blood magic, is that it? Sounds ominous. Get some goodies and a shortcut. Iron. Where does this lead to? Into somewhere else. Spiders. And another door. I heard the hero of Ferelden came down here during the blight. Cardall met the warden, but I never had the pleasure. You often see Grey Wardens. From time to time. A good bunch. Tough to fight. Fearless. Any warden would say the same about the Legion. Yeah, the Grey Wardens and the Legions are quite similar. Okay, honestly, I didn't expect those spiders, so I was stifling a shriek back there. Just to not disrupt their conversation. Okay, this door needed five gears. Maybe I should have saved the four gears before. <laughs> oh well. But I can also see there are a bunch of enemies behind that door, so I'm not sure how much I'm willing to go there. Okay, obviously we're gonna go that way, but is there something here? Oh god, I nearly fell down. Holy crap. Be careful, guys. Unlock expedition. Okay, Hadron Dyke Central Bridge Expedition. Operation. What is this? <laughs> All right, maybe we are repairing this bridge. For what purpose, though? It's not like we're gonna start living here or something. Spindle wheat. Do you have blood lotus, maybe? Oh! We can go this way? Is there anything here? I feel like we're going the wrong way. 
Oh god. That was a big one. Oh god. The only way down from here is falling. Not keen on that. There has to be another way. Yeah, yeah, we need to go the other way, of course. This is just a dead end. To get the gear. Okay, we technically have enough gears for that door, but maybe let's not do that right now. Oh, that's an emissary. came straight to me. Oh god. Who's that? Revive you. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, you know, we're in pretty bad shape, actually. But my mark is ready. That's a good thing. Oh god! <laughs> this doesn't look safe at all. People... Honestly, the dwarves really need to... suppress their pride and... Oh! And evacuate to the surface or something. There's another way in here. But it leads to the same destination, hopefully. A gear. What is that? Another gear. Some must still. Is it getting worse? I think it's it was really bad already from the very beginning. And that's just the other way we could have taken. All right. Oh boy. Do we have enough of this? We need five. Okay. Where do we get five? Oh, hello. Hello, spider. Ouch. Please, please burn and die.
Okay, that's the fifth one, right? Is it only the fourth one? That's the fifth one? Okay, how co very convenient. Thank goodness we didn't open that one door, the other door. It's time to read some codex entries. Characters. We've uh, got a lot of characters. Lieutenant Wren. Scribbled notes between Wren and Bernard. Lieutenant Wren, sir, I received our request for supplies. As our, as your second, I am duty bound to point out the absurd amount of ale listed. Unless we want, we have resorted to drowning the darkspawn. Respectfully, Legionnaire Bernard. Bernard. Bernard? <laughs> I don't know. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as an absurd amount of ale. You have requested more barrels than we have legionnaires. Can't even let a dead man have some fun. Fine, reduce the number of barrels to half, but I expect tapster's quality, not the piss they sent last time. I will make sure the Crown is aware that the ale is for the esteemed Lieutenant Wren, vanquisher of Darkspawn, hero of the Fifth Blight, and... What was the other title? I always forget. Owner of the boot in your arse, Selvoka. Shaper Valta. My daughter, I regretted the way we parted from the moment you left Orsamar. The words I spoke shame. The words I spoke shame the ancestors in our house. Your mother still won't speak to me. Yesterday I passed by a funeral for a legionnaire. I looked in as they tattooed her face. The weight of the ink seemed heavy. In moments she aged twenty years. I know you are not a part of the Legion, but sometimes it feels like I have lost my daughter all the same. I remember when you were a little girl. You dragged me to the shape rate just to skip down the aisles of books and re record records. You'd hum softly and run your tiny fingers along the spines of tomes you'd one day study. I still expect to find you there. They tell me the Legion commander with you is one of the best and I shouldn't worry. It may be weak, but I am not ready to lose you to the stone. Please be careful. Your father. Okay. There's the ogre we encountered. Genlock. The pleasure Cassius takes in dissecting the beast is repugnant. A Genlock, a Genlock was on the operating table today. The man actually giggled as he put a knife to the monster's chest. I wonder what sound it would make if it was still alive, he mused, pulling back the flaps of thick, pale skin. I don't know, gargling? If Cassius caught my tone, he ignored it and continued gabbing. So much muscle, and look at the hands. They're almost twice the size of the feet. Fetch me a jar. I obeyed and then stood back, covering my mouth to avoid the splatter as he removed each appendage. He separated the head last and held it up to candlelight. The brood mother has, that spawned this creature was once a dwarf. What I would give to study one. Another jar, please. As Cassius dropped the head inside the glass container, I swear I saw the putrid eyes blink. I don't know how much more I can stomach. Wait, what? Oh, a dwarf turned into darkspawn? had spawned this creature? Okay. Ogre. Since his return from Seheron, my brother Vero has, an, has had an affinity for horns. He's amassed quite the collection from Felt Kronari. At first he kept them in his study, but soon the entire estate was overrun with the dreadful things. So when on a hunting trip we came across an ogre with black horns glittering like tar, you can imagine his glee. I warned him that darkspawn are not like the Kronari, and ogres are especially cruel, but Vero was far into his cups. Not that he needed an excuse to ignore his little sister. You go right, flank him, he spat, already stalking towards the creature. I circled the ogre and thought it strange that we had found one alone on the surface. From everything I'd read, ogres traveled with a horde and were usually only spotted during blights. It was eating something. I was too far to see if its prey was animal or human. As I took my position and readied a paralysis spell, Vero prepared his opening attack. 
The ogre turned before the spell was cast. Its speed was unimaginable. Blood-stained claws wrapped around my brother's chest and crushed his ribs like twigs. Vero was dead in an instant. I ran to gather forces to avenge him, but when we returned, the creature and Vero's body were gone. Journal of Professor Arberg. I came expecting books worn from history's touch, their covers frayed with the spines exposed, but the memories are not written on fragile pages. They are runes crafted from nerium. The never fading symbols glow as if alive. The shapers tend to them with the deference of a grand cleric. A civilization's entire history, catalogued and recorded for future generations. Well, almost their entire history. My shaper guide explained that I wouldn't find the names of surface houses, even prominent ones. The castlers are struck from the memories because they have no position in Orzama society. A bit much, if you ask me, but dwarves seem to be a people of extremes. I was not permitted access to all of the shaper's records, only a select few. But I think I impressed them with my extensive knowledge of dwarven family trees. Journal of Talk. I should have listened to Daria, kept my head down, focused on a drop. She warned me that Karshal doesn't like questions. But I'd heard stories of Orzama my whole life, and if not for mother's gambling, I'd have been raised there. The rift between our people is thicker than the ground that divides Orzama from the surface. Our kin below think they are better than us, cause they've still got their stone sands. Daria said they treat me different, even dusters look down on the cloud on a cloud gazer like me. I didn't choose to be born on the surface. I never had stone sense to lose. I just wanted to know what it was, what it felt like. Topside people talk like it's magic. You hear rumors of the stone guiding her children to lurium veins, protecting them from cave ins or whispering to expecting mothers about their unborn infants' futures. According to Karshal, the reality of Stone Sense is much more mundane. Why miners can hear the distant song of Lyrium, no one has conversations with the stone. It's more of a connection, they can sense a passageway before reaching it, and can navigate the deep roads without getting hopelessly lost. My disappointment must have shown. Karshal asked if I had any other questions, then broke my nose for prying. It's been a bad trip. A note on Orzama. Inquisitor, as you've already heard, Orzama has urgent need of our service. Um, the underground earthquakes in the deep roads threaten to cave in countless lurium mines. If this happens, it would all but cut off from the supply of lurium to the surface. I don't need to tell you how many former Templars in the Inquisition rely on that lurium. It is imperative that we remain in Orzama's good graces. The politics may not require as much finesse as a grand game, but dwarven society can be just as perilous. Orzama is one of two remaining fakes that once made up their empire, and its citizens are a proud people, who are accustomed to hardship and lean heavily on tradition. A dwarf's caste means everything. While you are not traveling to the capital itself, you will be dealing with a representative from its shape rate. I am told her name is Valta, and her father is a highly respected member of the Smith cast. Liliana has discovered little else about her, which isn't surprising, considering how tightly Orzama holds its secrets. I caution you to treat this representative with the utmost respect. We are dealing with a proud people with long memories. Once a grudge is held, well, I'm sure you've heard that... I'm sure you've heard what they say about rocks and dwarven stubbornness, Josephine. Lyrium Blast Chargers Mining Lyrium does not work for the faint-hearted. The stuff is dangerous and difficult to find, and its veins only ever seem to run through the hardest rock. Lyrium is nothing but trouble, but luckily it offers a solution to its own problem. Pack the right amount into a small drum, prime it with a short fuse, light the thing, and run as fast as you can. 
The blast will leave your ears ringing for days after, but it will also explode any number of obstacles. There's a saying among long-time Ethereum miners, when the going gets tough, the tough get out a blast charge and blow a great sudden hole in the stone.